Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for episode 16 of 100 for 100. That is 100 videos will be conducted in 100 days. And I am super excited that you guys chose to go on this journey with me. I hope that you guys are getting a lot of information, maybe a couple of revelations, a couple of breakthroughs. Who knows? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys have been experiencing. Maybe I, I, I've gotten a couple of messages of people breaking out of their comfort zone from this. So it's doing the do, baby. It's doing the do. So we're going to go into this right here, man. This is a little bit different from the past videos I've made. I felt this wearing on my heart, and I guess it's like the purge. I'm purging out of myself. I don't know if you guys remember when Lil Wayne, right before Lil Wayne decided to do, you know, start spitting off the top of his head, he had to recite and record all of his written work. And he said, from this point on, once I record all of this, I think it was like a hundred bars and running or something like that. Once he recorded that, he went strictly into freestyle. And I think maybe this is something I'm going through right now as far as the purge. So let's get right into it. It was, I think, 1999, 2000, right? I finally get a grip on things. I'm working at Bally Total Fitness. I'm in sales now. I'm making good money. I made it through the struggle. I got an apartment. I got a car. Man, whew, that was tough. I finally was able to take a step back and breathe, right? Now, no matter what level you're on, I don't care if it's at the bottom, lowest level, homeless, cardboard box level, or you're at the very, very highest level with millionaires, with multimillionaires, even billionaires. Drugs are in all of those categories from top to bottom, whether it's, you know, spoon warmers doing heroin and cocaine to people doing pharmaceutical drugs, Oxycontin and all these other drugs, right? So, Boom. I'm doing good. Everything's going right. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I got a nice little reputation about myself in Bally Total Fitness. We're all going to clubs now, right? I mean, I'm hitting the clubs every single day. I, I got to tell you, people that work at health clubs, they party a lot. I mean, Jack Daniels, you name it. They're doing Jaeger bombs. They're doing all that shit. We drinking. We doing, we doing the do until somebody introduces weed to you. Man, dude, you're always drinking. Go ahead, take a couple of this puff. You're like, you, you know what? Why not? Why the fuck not? You go outside, which was me. I go take, now mind you, in New York, I've never touched drugs. I wasn't the one that did drugs at all. But I had to, I was fighting demons. When my mom died and I found myself in Chicago and now, you know, I was swinging and punching and trying to make it. And I finally had a chance to breathe because I saved up a little bit of a nest egg and I'm doing all right. My career is going well. I had to face those demons. Those demons don't go anywhere, by the way. So I go out, we step out, smoke a little weed, right? Plus a little bit of liquor in you. Hey, now now you feeling you feeling kind of glassy. You feeling real saucy at that point. Couple more parties, and my, mind you, I'm partying Monday, Tuesday. I'm going hard. Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going even more hard. Friday, that's a definite. Saturday, most definite. Sunday, might go to a lounge or something. Did that for three years. Go to a party. I believe it was on Chicago Avenue. 
feeling me. I'm feeling her. You know, we we kicking the Willie Bobo. My man's on the side. He's like, man, you know, you guys doing your thing and shit. Bam, yo, I got something for you. All right, what you got, homie? Pops out. I don't know what the fuck an X pill is. Gives it to me like, trust me, this shit is going to have you feeling right. All right, cool, whatever. Pill on the way home, drive by the lake. Doing our thing. Next thing you know, boom. Now, if any of you guys ever took X, <laughs> you know, what? <laughs> you chopping them gums, man. Your whole body is like gone, right? So I notice every time get momentum there was always a person on the side saying hey take this and one of the things i want to share with you guys today is again no matter how much you're succeeding how much momentum that you're getting someone is going to be on the sideline to offer you some type of narcotic to get you off your square to offer you some type of narcotic to get you off your shit. Because when you take a narcotic, you actually lose control of yourself. Of yourself. So there is a period in my life. It is I went from weed to X to LSD to, you know, um, shrew and heroin or shit like that but it just got it got bad it got worse and worse and worse to the point where i there's a period in my life it is a complete blow i always say to myself damn how far drugs and shit so i don't know who this video may affect maybe it'll affect someone that's going Maybe it'll affect somebody that's going through it right now. Maybe it'll affect, you know, something, somebody's grandkids. But stay the fuck away from drugs. I don't care if it's weed. Listen, even if it's harmless, weed is a, it's a depressant. It's, it slows you down. It is created to slow you down. Cocaine is a stimulant. Alcohol is another depressant. It's 